Sintbad by Robert Southey. One of Sintbad's adventures has been invented by that liar Master Antonique Nivet. He and twelve Portugal survivors were supposed near Potosi. We came into a fair country and we saw a great glistering mountain before us, ten days before we could come to it. For when we came into the plain country and were out of the mountains and the sun began to come to its height, we were not able to travel against it by the reason of the glistering that dazzled our eyes. At the last, by little and little, we came to the foot of this mountain, where we found great stores of tamandros, tamandos and eaters. We went along by this mountain at least twenty days before we could find any way to pass over it. At least we came to a river that passed under it. Here we determined to make some shift to get through. Some of our company said that we thought it best to go still along by the foot of the mountain, rather than to venture to go through, for they said, if the water go not through, we are all cast away, for it is impossible to return again against the current. Then I answered, friends, we may as well adventure our lives now as we have done heretofore in many places. If not, we must make a comment to live here like wild beasts, where we shall have life as long as pleases with God, without credit, name or religion. Before I think of it, our best way is to go through it we can, for no doubt, for no doubt, but with God, that hath hitherto delivered us from dangers infinite, at this time will not forsake us, and questionless, if it be our fortune to pass on the other side, we shall find either Spaniards or Indians, for I am sure, which each of you have heard, that on a fair day it is to be discerned from the top of Potasin to this mountain. After I have spoken, the Portugals determined to venture to go through. We made a great raft of great cans, three yards and a half broad and six yards long, we might lie down and sleep upon it. We killed good store of tamandros, and roused them they would drive for our provision, for we knew not how long we should be in the world. After we had made already, taking good store of wood with us, commending ourselves to God, we put ourselves into the world, which made such a noise of a running of a water, that we thought it had been some enchantment. We went in on Monday morning, and we came out on a morning. Whether we were two days or one in the world, I know not. As soon as we perceived light, we were very glad, but when we came out, we saw on every side houses, 